All right, today I'm here with Adam Jameson, proprietor of Fine Irish Whiskey. <laughs> Not really, <laughs> but you have the coolest last name that I've taken out in a long time, which is good. Yeah. So you're Irish? No. Not Irish? Uh, you think I would know exactly what my nationality is? Well, you are. haven't sold your DNA to some weird company that's going to put it in storage somewhere to tell you what percentage you are? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> uh, I, might, I might find something out I don't want to know. <laughs> yeah, me too. That's why. I don't want them to have my DNA. Yeah. Um, so uh, what brand of the military did you serve uh, in? I'm in Army National Guard. Still in. Uh, still in right now currently? How yep. long have you been in for? Uh, I hit my 10-year mark in November 17th. Wow. It's my 10 year mark. Uh, staying full time. Uh, I work full time out at the airport. Okay, uh, cool. On helicopters. Yeah, yeah. Good crew out there. Yeah. Good bunch of good dudes. I've met a few of them, and they've all been really cool dudes. Um, so, why'd you sign up for? Uh, you know, I was going to do it out of high school. Didn't know what I wanted to do. Exactly. Went and talked to Marine Recruiter. Sorry for everybody out here. So I, uh, no, I'm yeah. <laughs> not doing that. I'm not that hardcore. Yeah. yeah. I, I just waited a couple of years. I don't know. I don't know exactly the reason why I joined. Uh, I had a couple friends that have been deployed twice as soon as they were out of high school, and I was really good friends with him, and I think it's just something I want to do since he did it. Yeah. It's something I just felt like I needed to do. Yeah, and that's cool. It's been great. It's got me a good career. Like I said, I'm a full-time technician out there. So I'm getting the guard and the uh, technician retirement as long as they don't kick me out. Yeah. So, you know, I got that going for me. Keep your nose clean and do yeah. what you got to do. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. I mean, coming from construction where they you don't get paid very much. It's, no, it's you know, a not huge. Not for those guys. Yeah. yeah, oh, dude. Anyone that works outside or with their hands, even what you do, I mean, yeah. it's that's not an easy job, man. It's yeah. not at all an easy job. So, how'd you, did you pick the, uh, did you pick to be a mechanic or did that was just kind of something you tested into? Uh, no, I wanted to be. Um, I talked to a recruiter and, I uh, had a friend of mine that was already in, uh, kind of talked with me on it. And it just sounded really cool because I always like to work with my hands. And I wasn't going to be an electrician for the Army. Cause, yeah. You know, I just I kind of wanted to get away from that a little bit. Yeah, yeah. But talking with the recruiter, granted, he got me into being an Apache mechanic, which right now, because of the way the Army is being structured, they took all the National Guard uh, Apaches away. So now we have nothing to work on. <laughs> So I'm trying to reclass into being a tango for Blackhawks. So that's all I work on. Okay, cool. Right now, that's so. awesome. One of my best friends in the Navy flies those. No. Uh, Blackhawks in Japan. He's in station in Japan, but nice. they're mostly in some random sea <laughs> or in standoff with uh, one Chinese aircraft uh, carrier. Yeah. Um, so that's awesome. So how long do you plan on being in for? Uh, I'm going to do it until retirement. retirement. Yeah. Cool. So what, another 10 years? Something like that? 20 years? No, I, I could get out at my 20-year mark. But I won't collect any payments so you, until I hit 60. Yeah. Well, with my active duty time, 57 or something like that. Uh -huh. But I'm just going to stay. And a lot of the guys at the shop, they're usually there until... The last, they basically say, all right. They get them out, and then yeah. they come back as state employees. Yeah. So they, it, just, it, it just becomes your life. That's something you've been doing for so long. You like That's doing it. That's what you know, yeah. That's cool, man. I mean, I've been a mechanic out there full time for yeah. like eight years now. Did you, have to, did you ever get deployed anymore? Yeah, this uh, I just got back from my third deployment. Wow. Uh, we just got back uh, November 18th. Wow. Told me finally at the States. Jeez, we third, yeah. three, you're all, all to the desert? Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. the first one was 2009. We went to Kuwait for the whole year, which uh -huh. that's a vacation pretty much. Really? Uh, second one was 13. We did six months in Afghanistan. And then this last one, I spent five months in Iraq and then jumped around. We did, did a a small tour TDY to Spain to offload some aircraft and send them up to Afghanistan. So that was kind of nice, a change of pace to get yeah. away from So you kind of the traveling mechanic out there while you guys were out there? Yeah. Or what? yeah. We weren't even supposed to go to Iraq. It just happened up. Another unit needed the help, needed the mechanics, and they tacked us on it, which was great because it kept me from sitting doing nothing. Yeah. You know, because if there's no aircraft for us to work on, I mean, what else am I going to do? So yeah. it's kind of nice to get away i mean i was working we were working late hours 16 17 hour days but it made the time go by a lot faster. yeah so that five months went by pretty yeah quick. i bet i bet that's cool well food's here so let's eat it but uh thank you for your service and your continued service and the service <laughs> that you're about to do i appreciate it and definitely thank you for coming to have lunch with me no, i appreciate it